What's going on guys? Today we will be looking at our new vibrating sieve and we will be de we are demoing it with uh, dry trim and so it's a really effective way to remove trichomes from this sort of biomass in a semi-automatic fashion and the agitation really helps to get the most separation as possible giving the biomass so let's check it out Okay, so the process is pretty straightforward. Take your dry trim, dump it on the sieve, and the reason you would use the sieve is because it makes the process so much easier. You don't have to be agitating this by hand, and this will semi-automate the process. The only manual labor that you will need is, as you can see, the tech is breaking up the trim, breaking up some of the nugs, because whatever is encapsulated inside of those uh, flowers, you will not recover that. <laughs> the process is straightforward. The vibration of the device helps to break off the trichomes from the trim and then they fall through a screen. The sieve that we're using here, if you notice, has one set of motors on the left-hand side. We have one version that has one set of motors, and then we have versions that have two sets of motors. As you can see in this device here, the biomass accumulates on one side, and having two motors helps that. We have other types of systems where the actual agitator sits underneath in a center position, and that has counterweights that can be adjusted. So if you see this picture here, you can see that there are several types of configuration depending on the application that you're using. So for us, if this was a batch type dry sift, if you had some of the other devices that we have with a centralized motor, you would be able to agglomerate the biomass in the middle and it would basically uh, volcano up, if you will, and that would eliminate some of the manual interactions necessary, you'd still have to put your hands in there and break up the trichomes. If this were a nitrogen assisted system, the liberation would be so much better. But in this type of uh, setup, you would probably, you know, have like 7% or something uh, cannabinoids left, depending on your starting material. But you'd get a lot, you'd get a lot of your heads out, but there would still be a significant amount of heads, especially in the unbroken buds that have trichomes encapsulated inside.
Sure enough, eventually we get as much trichomes as we're going to get. Try not to leave it too long because you're going to create debris, but the top mesh keeps your contaminants and your uh, flower on top. It's usually somewhere in the 200 micron range. And then your bottom mesh is going to collect your trichomes and you can decide what that... Yes. It's actually quite a nice yield. You can see that the uh, sister with the hair is separated from cells. Identified. So it's 500 mesh. Should be maybe 45 microns, maybe 25. It just really depends. And as you can see here, we have a lot of pistols that have accumulated that have made it through the mesh. So some stuff does make it through. Not all of it, but. It's definitely an easy way to just collect these trichomes. At the end, uh, you can just pour this off. You don't want to scoop anything off. You just brush off these trichomes, and we do have a SOP on cleaning these things after the fact. Sieves are very important to keep clean.